sudden morning assembly. <sighs> okay, so I went ahead and stopped the recording and restarted it because I wanted to get the entirety of this scene. What's with the sudden morning assembly? I bet it's about that girl that jumped the other day. There we go. They don't have to tell us not to commit suicide. There was that weird calling card too, so I guess the teachers are freaking out. We're lucky that morning practice got canceled though. I feel like I'm gonna faint if this takes forever. <sighs> Let's begin this school-wide morning assembly. As you all know, a tragic event took place the other day. Thankfully, we have been informed that she has pulled through, but it will take time until she recovers. Everyone here has a bright future ahead. I implore that you rethink the importance of life and... <laughs> Mr. Kamashita, what's there? Here we go. I... Uh, have been reborn. That is why I will confess everything to you all. Huh? What's wrong with Mr. Komushita? What's this about? Confess? Did the volleyball team do something? I have repeatedly done things that were unbecoming of a teacher. No verbally shit. abusing students, physically abusing my team, and sexually harassing female students. I am the reason why Shiho Suzui tried to kill herself. Sexual On topic for this. Why would he oh, say that himself? He is so Assembly. Forced. Really? Physical abuse? I thought of the school as my own castle. There were even students that I sentenced to expulsion simply because I didn't like them. I will, of course, rescind those. I am truly sorry for putting innocent youths through such horrible acts. I am an arrogant, shallow, and shameful person. No, I'm worse than that. I will take responsibility. I kill myself for it. You what? can see how uh, powerful so guilt can Mr. be, yeah? Kamoshida is, uh, not well. Mr. Kamoshida, please get off the stage for now. Everyone, return to your classes. I... Don't run, you bastard! Shiho's still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die! You have no right to run from this! You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be punished under the law and atone for my crimes. See what happens I when did horrible you restore things empathy to, to someone who's lost well. him? In return for giving Suzui-san a position on the team, I... I tried to force her into having relations. Disgusting. Ugh. For a position on the team? Feels so That's bad horrible. So the rumors son. weren't true. As of today, I will resign from my position as an instructor and turn myself in. <laughs> Someone please call the police! The police? Is he for real? He's gonna get arrested? Wow. This morning's assembly is over. Return to your classes immediately. Isn't this just like what that calling card said? Does this mean the Phantom Thieves thing was for real? Yep. Was something done to Kamoshida? Come on, there's no way you could steal someone's heart. But why else would he start saying things like he'll kill himself or turn himself in? Maybe because it almost got leaked? Don't they go easier on you if you turn yourself in? I wonder what happened. Who knows? <laughs> But man, Kamashita turned out to be one sick bastard. Hey, is this for real? He's turning himself in just like that? What's going to happen this to the volleyball no team? Now? This is going to be a big... Return to your classrooms at once! His heart really did change. Seems like it. But was this really for the best? I think so. Yeah, it's gotta be. But things are happening way too fast. Huh? What the? Takamaki-san, I'm sorry. Huh? 
We all knew, but we pretended we didn't. Takamaki-san, I had you all wrong. I'm sorry that I spread rumors about you. I didn't know at all. Kamashita was forcefully pushing himself on you. It must have been so hard for you. I'm sure there's a ton of people who want to apologize to you. We're so sorry. No, it's okay. The same goes for me, too. Besides, that's all in the past now. Hey, you there! Return to class at once! Ugh. Well, see you later then. I can't apologize enough for what I did to you. I swear I'll make it up to you someday. Looks like Kamoshida ain't the only one that had a change of heart. Man, I'm glad for you. Looks like those weird rumors are gonna go away. My thing doesn't really matter. We made Kamoshida apologize about Shiho. That's more than enough for me. Very honorable if you want. You should hurry and tell her about it then. Yeah. I totally freaked out. He really did have a change of heart. And we were lucky his mind didn't get messed up either. <laughs> this was an A-plus job. Yes, it was. Does this mean that they won't have a mental shutdown even if their palace disappears? I see. So we need to persuade the shadow without killing it, and then send it back to its real self. Yep. Our targets won't undergo a cognitive collapse if we do that. So we can get him to confess with no bad stuff? Hey, that works for me. Do you have to be so loud? Eh, don't worry about it. So, how'd it go? With Shiho, I mean. She's regained consciousness. Yes. For real? It was only for a little bit, but I got to talk to her. I was able to tell her that Kamoshida admitted to what he did. Yes. Shiho, she... She told me she was sorry. Looks like she found out that I was flirting with Kamoshida for her sake. And here I was, wanting to apologize to her. Kamoshida's at fault for all this. I know. Shiho's mom is thinking of transferring her to another school after she recovers. The whole sexual harassment and attempted suicide. People will label her after that. Yeah. Sounded like Shiho had the same idea, too. Ah, it's gonna get lonely. But I think it's for the best. I'm sure it'll be hard if she stays here. She's alive. You can see her anytime. I need to change, too. That aside, I was surprised you could hold yourself back against Kamoshida's shadow. It wasn't like that. I just wanted Kamoshida to apologize himself. You're so kind, Lady On. No matter how much of a shitbag he was, finishing him off would have left a bad aftertaste, huh? Huh? That's not it. I think revenge is better served if I make him repent. Mm. Realizing what he's done, he'll grovel for forgiveness the rest of his life. You know? I just believe there are fates worse than death. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's all settled. <laughs> but she you know, there was one more thing I was wondering about that castle. Why was Kamoshida the only one who had that metaverse thing? It isn't necessarily limited to him. It's something anyone could have if their heart became warped from their desires. Anyone? Wanna check it out? Not right now. We better lay low for a while. People are still gonna be talking about Kamoshida. Then again, it's totally impossible for someone to find out what we did at his palace. <laughs> yeah, about that, weird rumors about you guys are already going around. Stuff like you got together and threatened Kamoshida with something close to physical violence. The hell? God. People aren't going to easily believe that phantom thieves really exist. Calling cards being treated like it was a prank by someone who knew what Kamoshida was doing. Hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. We're the ones who did it, and I still don't completely believe it myself. <laughs> Let's wait for things to settle down for the time being. 
Anyways, let's check how much this metal can be sold for. It'd be better if we pawned it off ASAP. Ooh, got a hit! Wait, 30,000 yen? That's all a gold medal's worth? Yeah. Remember that time in middle school? I lent you some money. <laughs> There's no way I borrowed 30,000 yen from you. <laughs> Wouldn't it be around that much with compounded interest? <laughs> interest my ass! <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm taking all of it. I mean, it's your fault for not paying me back all these years. It's just common sense. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> I agree on laying low and keeping an eye on the situation. However, you dragged me into this. It would be nonsense not to celebrate a successful mission. Yeah, good point. I guess we could blow this dirty money on something fun. Discussions among phantom thieves are to take place over luxurious food. How about it? Hey, wait! Nah, I guess it's fine. There's somewhere I want to go then. Where's that? It's a place Shiho and I have been wanting to go for a while. I owe money, so I can't complain. You good with that? Hi, baby. I'll leave it to your discretion as well, Lady On. I'll call and check the prices later then. When should we go? Want to do it soon, like tomorrow? Why don't we go on the last day of the holidays? It'll help energize us when school life starts up again the day after. Yeah. Then, uh, the fifth on Children's Day. So, who's going to sell this? Leave that to us. We know a store that'll buy anything, don't we? Yeah. Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> ah, you're back. Is that gold medal real? When did it get inside the, his palace? No, that one is a fake. It's just a byproduct of his cognition. The Hang on. Okay. Kamashita has the real one. What? You're telling me Kamashita still got the medal? Who cares? What matters is that we changed his heart. And anyway, if we take the real thing, that'd be stealing. I don't think he'd be proud of that medal anymore, regardless. You wanna let go? You let go of stuff pretty easily, huh? Wanna forget about my debt? That's different. 500 yen is a lot of money for a middle schooler, you know? Do you even still have that dolphin anyway? Dolphin? Stop digging that up. Back in middle school, we went on a field trip to the aquarium. But Ryuji had to spend all his money on a souvenir, so I let him some for the trade fair. I said I was sorry. That was for my mom. Well, I guess we can call it even after all we've been through. Thank you. Anyways, we don't gotta worry about selling that metal off if it's a fake. End of story. Kamashita will never be proud of that once-in-a-lifetime gold medal ever again. Depending on how you look at it, that punishment might be even worse than death for him. <sighs> Starting tomorrow, you, uh, you'll have a lot of time off, huh? Must be nice. For me, it just means even more customer and more work. Yo. Another box came for you. Hey! Protein. Oh! And, por and protein. Okay. Ooh, crossword. Hey, hey! We're gonna play crossword puzzles, so you have other stuff to do, so don't get too into it. Let's play a little. Alright. Time for a trip. Week. Oh, hang on. Goose. Oh, it's Golden Week. Sorry, it took me a second. Japanese culture and I don't necessarily get along. get along at reminding me of things, but, I mean, I remember enough when I need to. Like this. Golden Week. It's a holiday that typically spans the end of April to the beginning of May, and includes Saturday and Sunday. The golden part of the phrase came from the Japanese broadcasting term, golden time, which refers to the most desirable time slot of the day. All right. I see. So, wow, even I couldn't figure that one out. Nice. Maybe you got a bit smarter after solving these crossword puzzles. Little bit of knowledge.
Nice. It's pretty healthy for now. Why does everyone have to take a break at the same time? Well, I mean, since we're going to that shop, might as well go ahead and try to get some sooty armor washed. Uh, in fact, it takes time, though. I'm thinking maybe... Okay. Add another item. Add another item. Add another item. Run the wash as is. Hey, hey! This thing is shaking a lot. I smell snow from the bathhouse next door. Oh! Looks like it's done. And this is much cleaner than finished. I expected. Ooh, succubus pajamas. Let's head back. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff to sell. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Okay. Come on, we're gonna pawn that metal today. Hey, you can hear me, right? You don't have plans, do you? Come help me out instead of sleeping your life away. Uh, we do it all to him. We'll just have to wait. Hurry down and help him out. Sorry, Sorry I, kind of... I kind of pressured you okay. into doing this. So this actually does have... Now to our next topic, Fall from Grace, the story of a dishonored Olympic medalist. Just recently, a high school coach confessed at an assembly that he had been repeatedly abusing students. Given his prior Olympic achievements, this has caused quite a stir. What caused this habitual offender to suddenly confess these heinous crimes to his entire school? The police are hoping that the upcoming interrogations will bring light to this question. Isn't this? My friends would come back from practice with bruises all the time. It was scary, but I'm relieved that the abuse is finally going to end now. He would touch me and stuff all the time. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that sexual harassment anymore. There were always rumors, sure. Not many people believed them, though. Like, I'm totally shocked they were actually true. At least now I can go to school without worrying. Knew it. This is your school, isn't it? Seems like it. Uh, things might be getting turbulent at school, but you need to just keep your head down, all right? More importantly, keep those hands moving. I've got some more stuff I need you to do. Man. The cheap really works as hard. So, see, it was on the news. No way the school's gonna be able to play dumb after that. I saw it too. Shio's name didn't come up, right? Not that I saw. I bet they wanted to keep that part quiet. I'm so glad. It's finally over then. All we gotta do is stuff our faces and put this Kamashita crap behind us. Looking forward to the celebration party. I'll try not to let you guys down. Alright, we need to go sell that gold medal tomorrow. Even if the cheap wants your help, make sure you turn them down, okay? Okay. Take care of business tomorrow, like told on we would make sure you s we sell that metal. Oh! Yeah, you rented something, right? Let's go ahead and try to increase our proficiency a little bit. They're Guy McFer. Parody of McGyver. We need to do something fast! It's fine. I'll just use this chocolate. See? The acid and the sugar are reacting. It's a story about a man who never gives up beating all the odds with science and ingenuity. Wow. Thinks the tanks crack with chocolate? Why does he stay so calm at a time like that? It's better than hey, making hey. a bomb out of a stick of chewing gum. <laughs> Honestly, the protagonist knew just what to do despite the crazy situation. Maybe you learned a thing or two about proficiency from watching this drama. Mm. Yeah, that's a little bit of proficiency. Well, then. well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? But yeah, social stats actually affect what you can unlock when. Make sure to do the dishes. When I get back. Just do it. Don't get cocky with me. 
Welcome. Hi, Am Sai. I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh, is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. Leaving that aside, what do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, no. Not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Fusion Academy. Oh, someone I know goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. <sighs> Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. Today's the day we turn in that metal for cash. You know some place that'll buy it off you, right? So this is the place. Looks like it. Let's just get to take care of this. Wait, we don't have to search warden yet. Just be patient. I'm sure we'll get it soon enough. And we'll never think about running off down this narrow alley. Huh? Huh? You again? What do you want? I want you to buy this. Huh? A gold medal? Why do you have this? We don't buy any fake or stolen goods here, kid. Hey. Hold on a sec. Let me see it. Hmm. I'm not going to ask where you got this. How's 30,000 yen sound for it, though? Works for me. Hmm, 30,000 yen it is, then. Hmm. It's almost time. Here, take this with you. It's a thanks for selling me that metal. But, uh, best not to open it. Just bring it with you the next time you come back here. Got it. I'm glad you're so quick to understand. They're here. And they saw why, right? There are some matters we'd like to discuss with you today. <sighs> Go, kid. Do you know why we're here? <laughs> I don't know, looking for evidence. You tell me, Mr. Detective. Watch your attitude! Well, you guys are gonna search me. Go on, do what you gotta do. Well, what was that? An upstanding citizen supposed to cooperate with the cops, right? Hey, are you sure that lead was legitimate? I could have sworn it was. <laughs> Can you two hurry it up? I got a business to run here. You bastard. Hey, you. What's in the back? Show me. The kid's just a regular old customer. You can check the tapes and that'll convince you. They'll show everything that's gone down here today. I don't want to be here when the detectives see the footage of me with that gold medal. I should leave. I won't let you get away that easily. Show us what's in the back. It's none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> said show it to me hey you're talking to a kid remember besides he's not the one we're here to see Ugh. that's right mr. detective maybe next time try not harassing my customers see how that goes Grr. see ya safe trip home kid <laughs> I got a white laugh yes what were those detectives doing there more importantly aren't you curious about what's in about what's in okay hold on sorry more importantly, aren't you curious about what's in the bag? Maybe a little. Well? <laughs> come on, let's open it up. A real gun? <laughs> Wait, I think it's just a model. It's incredible, though. Miles ahead of the one Ryuji had. Yep. There's something weird about that place. Hey, I just had a great idea. We should totally buy this gun from him later. Yep. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah. Something this real looking would work wonders in the metaverse. Anyway, 
He told you to bring it back the next time you came, right? You should try striking a deal with him when we go to return it. Yep. Paper bag. Key items. What are you talking about? It's just a paper bag. Okay. Ron's calling me. Oh, hello. It's me. I saw the news. You know, about Kamoshida. It's getting a lot of coverage. Serves him right. I'm still not sure about that. The reaction's been bigger than what I was expecting. I guess I'm just surprised. I don't think we did anything wrong, though. I wonder if we helped those people speak up about it. I'm sure we did. It's possible. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. And yet, look at us now. This calls for a celebration. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late. Oh, and did you pawn off that medal? You didn't forget, right? I remembered. Good to hear. I already made reservations. You should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys tomorrow. Ah, a restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Maybe sushi? Ooh, tuna, sea urchin, and maybe even salmon roe. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it. <laughs> Finally having that celebration tomorrow, I can't wait. Oh. Let's finish watching Guy McFur, parody of MacGyver. <laughs> Damn, they shut off the power. How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda can. I'll just tie it to this string. Guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes all sort of tools, but whatever he has on hand, impressive. Oh. So we finished watching Guy Mikvar, huh? Maybe you learned a thing or two about proficiency from watching mm. this drama. Yes! My proficiency is decent! Now I just have to boost my kindness and my knowledge All right. to two. And I still have to get my guts up to four. Your proficiency has increased from bumbling to decent. Okay. Let's go return the DVD soon. Well then. Oh, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady Anne chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Okay, I'm going to pause here just for a second to point out something. So, the main character is eating a fruit salad, a nice healthy snack. The athlete has a plate full of meat. And Anne is eating cake. Just cake and pie and cake <laughs> just thought i'd point that out oh yeah i heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school that's troublesome our names are gonna come up for sure people are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and kamoshida but we got them pumped up i keep hearing stuff like the phantom thieves really stole his heart I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? We got on time? Huh? Oh, crap, you're totally right! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! 
Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace. <laughs> I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu. <laughs> Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys too. Don't worry. Oh man, God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? <laughs> now, when should I start? <laughs> and she's all about the cake. <laughs> so happy! <laughs> hey, calories. <laughs> Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> And where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. <laughs> beans? There are some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? <laughs> Put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Leave it to me. That's reassuring. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Uh. Oh, this part's cream cheese. They're not even listening. <laughs> All right. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? Let's head to the fish table first. Ooh, look! There's the fish! I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great, too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamashita fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Pausing. So basically, expensive all-you-can-eat buffets, like there are medium-priced ones, but expensive ones, like this one, even here in the U.S., it's basically like going to McDonald's for uh, poor people, except rich. Like rich people who like to think of themselves as poor go to all-you-can-eat buffets that are like this. Just saying, they nailed this on the head with the, the tone setting. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Yep. Hmm. Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. Yep. Oh, how did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope he didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. Rice is incredible! It's the cornerstone of every great meal! Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So, the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. 
Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Ah, oh, meat! I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any... I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Gah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty. He's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going, too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. We were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Hmm. I wonder... Oh, up close it looks even bigger and more delicious! This giant sweet... I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamoshida got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. The irony. Hmm? Well, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on, but it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, Let's head back to the others. <laughs> you brought a ton back! What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? I just wanna eat. I was thinking that too, but take a bite! Using better ingredients makes stuff taste way different! <laughs> Look at you, acting like you have a refined palate all of a sudden. <laughs> Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... Mm. Knowing when we'll get to come here again. Uh, sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Well, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. <laughs> yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever. Let's deal with this ourselves. Feels like no matter how much we eat, the amount of food we have stays the same. There's still <laughs> more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. My belt feels multiple sizes too small. Oh yeah. This is a victory. 
for all of us. That was a breeze. Oh, is your stomach the size of a freaking palace? Good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Uh, uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. <laughs> My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? We don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? What the... There's still no update on the case. Uh, not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it. Hey, you're cutting in line. What do you want? Apologize to Ryuji. We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with him. That voice just now. What the hell was with that bossy guy? Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. That man's voice. It sounded almost like the one from back then. What's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. You not feeling good? He almost never eats well after all. Plus, I'm always stuck eating canned cat food. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! What took you so long? Why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <laughs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Thanks, though. But the restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. It always feels like this. <clears throat> hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Yeah. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier too. The selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, 
Those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people. There are a lot of victims. I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as phantom thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? I didn't even think of such a possibility. But it's true that with this new power, we may be able to help people. But that means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? I want to help people. Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? What? No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ann made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Uh, okay. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? Yeah, I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Oh, I've got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. How about the diamonds? <laughs> I'm getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. <laughs> well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilé? Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Hell no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. Okay. Your team name may be seen by others when using network services. Please be cautious not to enter any personal information. Furthermore, do not enter a name that could be considered offensive.
somewhere where I have better cell reception for a sec. I want it to be something memorable. space. Had to put it in proper linguistic context a little bit, yeah? My Gaelic is rusty, so I had to use a translator. We going with that? Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Like a celebrity. Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some big wig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. 
I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Meanwhile, back in the future. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. It's all true. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps. Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. A master of Japanese arts. Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. The summary of the story up to this point has been updated. To read, press triangle to open the menu, then select story from under the systems options. Yes. Mm. Well, we spent all our money on the buffet, but we've officially established the Phantom Thieves, so it was totally worth it. Phantom Thieves, huh? I like the sound of that. I hope we can really help people. I'm curious about the Phantom Aficionado website, too. Wonder who made it. No clue. More importantly, do you see the survey on there? I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, there's this approval rating thing, but it was only like 6%. Better than I expected. I guess it's not so bad if you put it that way. But don't you just want to get it higher than that? I bet it'll go up tons if we keep taking down big targets. It's pretty damn exciting if you try and think about it like that. You know, you're actually right. Well then, let's keep working hard from this point on. The Thieves' Den has been unlocked. You can access Thieves' Den from the triangle menu or from the title screen. At the Thieves' Den, you'll be able to do various activities such as view art, listen to music, or play card games. You may unlock more with story progression, so stop by now and then. I'm gonna actually wait, because I was told by someone when the Thieves' Den actually makes the most sense to visit for the first time. Um, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Oh yeah, let me send this. Oh yeah, let me send the celebratory pick I took for today. Celebrating the founding of the Phantom Thieves and celebrating us crashing that classy buffet. I'm cool with all the celebrating any time now. Wait, you took that while I was eating? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I did, you just never stopped eating. Anyway, that's our start as the Phantom Thieves. We're gonna take this world by storm. All the shitty adults in the world better watch out for us. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clear message history. While well, I got the chance. feed my little puppies um, we're 14 well more like 15 hours into this game and we're not even a